So the headlines for this story are blowing up everywhere. ARG 2 is now delayed until 2024. If you guys aren't aware of what ARG is, it is a survival game that has had just kind of a myriad of controversy throughout its early access development, including things like selling DLC while the game is still you know, in active development and in early access. Before the content that you've already paid for is there, they're asking you for more money. And now we start to see the amalgamation of what that means for Studio Wildcard, because according to all of these articles going out, ARG 2 has now been delayed until 2024. Again, that's par for the course. I don't even care about delays at this point. If a game delays, it's pretty much the standard at this point, whatever release date they ever give you, tack on a year or two and we'll maybe see the game come out. But now, what they're saying is ARC 1 is getting a next-gen upgrade, which you're gonna have to pay for. Huh. So looking at this blog post on Studio Wildcard's website for ARC, they say after careful consideration, we have decided to delay the sequel's launch to the end of 2024, when it will still launch exclusively on Xbox, Game Pass, and Windows, basically meaning Steam. We've put much thought into delaying ARC 2 for the betterment of the final product and the team's well-being. This news will be disappointing to many, we feel it too, but we're confident this heavy decision is the right one. Here's the thing about delays, at this point, expect them. It's basically industry standard video games take a lot of time to develop and I also understand when you're making a game of this magnitude things are gonna go wrong so I get it I'm not even mad about the delay honestly after watching how arc one launched take as much time as you need guys but what I do have a problem with is after they explain why they delayed it in like four paragraphs they go into this introducing arc survival ascended Ark Survival Ascended is a next generation remaster of our beloved Ark Survival Evolved, harnessing the power of Unreal Engine 5. It will be released on the Xbox Series X and S, PC, and PlayStation 5 by the end of August of this year. Now that sounds pretty good, a remaster, an engine upgrade going to Unreal Engine 5. Sounds pretty good, right? wrong what is actually happening is xbox and pc players keep that in mind will only be able to get it via an ultimate edition bundle known as the arc respawned bundle this bundle includes both ownership of arc survival ascended and arc 2 and will be priced at 49.99 so if you want to upgrade to the remastered engine upgrade you also get bundled in with it arc 2 so this now becomes a pre-order and a next-gen engine upgrade for the current game that you're playing right now. Additionally, if you buy access to this bundle, you do get a one-month beta access code for ARC 2 whenever that becomes available. Now, PlayStation 5 owners can just buy the game outright at $39.99 for the engine upgrade. On top of the fact that all of those expansions that you guys paid for for ARC Survival Evolved, yeah, you're gonna have to buy them again by buying the Explorer's Pass, which gives you Scorched Earth, Aberration, and Extinction. By the way, all of this content you've already paid for. Now, if you want to get Genesis, both Part 1 and 2, you gotta buy the Genesis Pass, which, again, $19.99, content that... If you've had it, you've already paid for it. You gotta buy it again on top of buying the bundle that also is a pre-order for a game that doesn't exist yet. I mean, creative to say the least, guys. Now, in this post, they put a lot of information about all of the things that this engine upgrade is going to bring you. And if you read through it all, you get to this one little line here because you're probably asking yourself, well, Big Fry, I don't have to upgrade if I don't want to, right? Eh. I mean, kind of, because in this blog post kind of fit right in here where you're probably going to miss it if you just happen to scroll by. With the launch of Ark Survival Ascended at the end of August, keep in mind, got to rebuy the same game again, just an engine upgrade, got to rebuy all the expansions. The official servers for Ark Survival Evolved, remember that game you paid for and got all the content for? Yeah, those official servers are gone. With the launch of ASA at the end of August, we will be taking down all official servers on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC for 
after Ark Survival evolved. At that time, the final save data from all of those servers will be uploaded for players to re-host on their own servers or play in single player slash non-dedicated, as well as slightly earlier snapshots. You're still going to be able to play single player, non-dedicated, player dedicated, and unofficial servers. Ark Survival Ascended will have its own fully supported official network for all platforms. So if you're one of those players who happen to play on official servers, you're fucked. You gotta buy the game again. Unless you jump into a player hosted server or a custom made server, you can't play the game that you wanna play. Now I put my opinion about this out on Twitter. I kinda just said like, this is a pretty scumbag fucking move if you ask me. Now I was met with a little bit of a differing opinion on it because people were saying like, most players don't play on official servers. They already play on like, you know, custom modded player dedicated servers. Regardless, they are now taking away functionality and forcing you to upgrade to the new version, which is not only an upgrade and not only a way to siphon more money out of you for now having to buy the expansion passes on top of it to get the content that you've already paid for. Now you're also being forced into a fucking pre-order for ARK 2. This is the most creative creative way that I think I have ever seen a company try to fuck its audience. And of course, it's Studio Wildcard. These guys are known for doing scumbag things in the past, launching DLC for a game still in early and active development in Ark Survival Evolved. The guys who launched Atlas in such a piss poor state but had the gall to charge what they did for it. These guys are not shy from taking your fucking money and figuring out very creative ways to do it. This to me is a really big scumbag move and I'm seeing online the sentiment is that a lot of people are calling them out. Even a lot of the big, you know, news articles, Kotaku's, Polygon's, IGN's, GameSpot's, all of them are calling out Studio Wildcard as well. It doesn't make sense to support this kind of bullshit. So I would ask if you guys are fans of ARK, let me know down below what you guys think of this entire thing. Am I off the mark? Again, this is me coming from somebody who is just kind of watching the business moves being made. I don't actually play the game because to be honest with you, for a lot of years, the game was kind of trash. And in me like waiting for it to be better, I just kind of lost interest. I am very excited for ARK 2, unless it launches like Atlas and ARK 1 did in early access with barely any functionality. I mean, Ark Survival Evolved at launch was absolutely fucked. And I hope that Ark 2 isn't going to be that. But seeing this kind of stuff doesn't really give me much hope for the game. You delay it, you find out a way to lock players out of official servers unless they upgrade, pay you a shit ton more money to buy the content that they've already fucking paid for, for an engine upgrade, for a game. It's pretty fucking scummy. Like I said, I'm coming at this from somebody who doesn't play the game, who might not know the ins and outs. Maybe there's five people that play on official servers and this isn't really a big deal. To those five people, it's probably pretty shit. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this entire situation. If you guys end up liking the video, leave a like on it down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And if you guys aren't in our Discord, you need to be there. We're, we're going to be doing a lot more events in the future. We're going to get a lot more interactive with this community because we want that Discord to be a really, really cool place to be. So if you guys aren't over there, you need to get over there. The link is down in the description below. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.